Good evening from BBC London News. The mayor's flagship cycling lanes have been heavily criticised by the Metropolitan Police at the inquest of a cyclist. Brian Dawling died two years ago after being hit by a lorry at Bow Roundabout in East London. An officer told the coroner Transport for London had already been warned that the superhighways would lead to confusion. Our transport correspondent Tom Edwards reports. Brian Dawling died after he was hit by a lorry here on the Bow Roundabout. The court heard he was cycling to work at the Olympic Park when he went through a red light. So did a truck behind him. He died on one of the mayor's cycling superhighways. Today a coroner recorded a narrative verdict and said the blue paint may have lulled him into a false sense of security. This was supposed to be a dedicated cycle route, offering people a safer way to use their bikes on the capital's congested roads. It's only after Brian's death that TfL has seen fit to act to change the junction's layout so that vulnerable road users such as cyclists are given priority over larger vehicles, which would otherwise pose them a greater risk. Sadly, this will not bring back my loving husband or allow my three children to see their father again. This cycling superhighway encourages cyclists to use this very busy Bow roundabout and the coroner was very critical about this junction. She said it seemed like it was an accident waiting to happen. She also said it seems like cyclists are being guided into the place where they're most vulnerable. When she asked about the legal standing of cycling superhighways, she was told they have no legal standing, they're just blue paint. And today in court, a Met traffic expert said they'd warned TfL about the cycling superhighways, calling them ambiguous and that they could lead to confusion. They could give a false sense of security and priority where none exists, and the disadvantages outweigh the advantages. There have been changes to Bow Roundabout. Campaigners, though, say it's still confusing. And as we found today, red lights are still regularly ignored. This was the mayor's reaction to the criticisms. We have already done huge changes to Bow Roundabout itself as part of a package of about a billion pounds worth of investment in uh, roundabouts and junctions across London. One death is too many, but believe me, we take uh, all these criticisms very, very much to heart. The coroner will wait until tomorrow to deliver a full report after she's heard another case involving a French cyclist who died also on a cycling superhighway. Tom Edwards, BBC London News.